You're gonna get jacked. You're gonna build muscle. You're gonna build endurance. You're gonna look great and like an athlete. You're gonna build some solid aesthetics. Not that ballooned up crap like bodybuilders do. Because you know what? If you walk around like this, that's not practical. That's not functional. That's not something that you need in everyday life. Yes, everybody's gonna look at you when you walk around like this, right? You have a huge muscle carrying around. No disrespect to the bodybuilders. I know you're all into this, but you know what? MMA fighters love to pick on bodybuilders. Practical fitness is built when you use the whole body and don't isolate the muscle. What is this good for? Yes, a little bit of biceps. You're gonna get some girls. Yes, wow, awesome. But you know what? I rather wanna have some brains when I use my full body like this. Up. Cranking out these reps like crazy. That's what's up, practical fitness. Yeah, a little bit of rant, but hey, it is what it is. 25 reps, burpee challenge. You got this, you have to do it. You gotta do it, what are you waiting for? Oh, I can feel the testosterone going through my body and that's natural testosterone, my friends. No chemically enhanced crap that after you, you've gone off the meds, then you look like this, you look like you're a tiny dude because now when you get on this enhanced stuff, you get bigorexia because you're never enough. You look into the mirror like, oh, I'm not big enough. Even though everybody around telling you, bro, you're a beast, you're humongous, you're Big Stan, Big Steve, Big Pete or whatever have you and you don't want to lose that adjective in front of your name. You don't want to lose it that big, right? So that's why you're always on these chemically enhanced crap medications that people use to get treated. But we use it to build muscle. How crazy is that? Why not let your body dictate what you're gonna look like? Listen, muscle is one thing. Cardiovascular endurance is another thing. Mobility is another thing. Being able to move around and being healthy is another thing. Not dying uh, from a heart attack at the age of 30 is another thing. Guys, I'm 39. I can't even imagine laying in the hospital and having a problem with my heart just because I was pumping out these reps because I wanted to look like this. And again, no disrespect, but friends, practical fitness, this is what it's about. Yes, folks call me skinny. Folks tell me, listen, you have these chicken legs, you are a breadstick or whatever have you. I don't care. You know why I don't care? Because I was made in the image of God. I know that He loves me. I know that He cares for me. So I have to pray like it depends on God, but I have to work like it depends on me. So I want to use this natural genetic potential that God gave me and I don't need no enhancements. So if you are like this, if you're just a person like I am and you're like, you know what? Maybe you were into this. I was into this bodybuilding stuff as well, but you know what? I quit. I quit and now I use this and I love it. I still use some little bit of bodybuilding techniques, but most of the time it's practical fitness. And if you're like this, you're like, you know what? Something's missing because you know what? The first time I picked up a kettlebell, it killed me. I was doing bodybuilding stuff like crazy and the kettlebell killed me. A 16 kg killed me. Can you imagine? How can a 16 kg kettlebell kill me? I was like, I'm lifting every day. This is impossible because the kettlebell showed me, you know what, bro? It's only one type of physical quality that you're good at and all the rest you're missing out on. This is crazy. And now if you're a person like this, you're like, you know what? I'm just like Gregory. I'm just like Libestock. I want to pick up some kettlebells. Check the first link in the description. Wow, this was a huge rant, but I felt it just blew, it came out of me. I couldn't stop and I still can't stop, but I got to go because I got to get something to eat. So friends, check the first link in the description. If you want to sign up for a membership, it's called Kettlebell Plus hundreds of follow along words, workouts, skill lessons, everything that you need when it comes to a proper kettlebell membership. That's what's up, we call it the Netflix of kettlebells. And everybody's jealous because we're building such an awesome community because the kettlebell is where it's at. So download it. No, you have to click on it, then you have to pay only $1. Can you believe this? You only have to pay $1 and then you can get started with the Netflix of kettlebells and get in, get in touch with me, get in touch with Angie, get in touch with a community that cares for you where it's not about looking like this. It's all about being practical, healthy, strong, and build endurance, being able to survive in the desert when you have to carry stuff and run around. I'm not saying that I can do this, right? I've never been in the desert, but I maybe have the fitness that is required to do so. So check the first thing in the description. Yo, I'm out, boom.